it's not something you can think that you're going to get told that your 11 year old has beginning stage melanoma. For Melissa Cummins, the news that her son had skin cancer was a shock. I was sick. <laughs> I actually dropped down and I couldn't talk on the phone. And while the Centerville, Maryland family often spent time outdoors hunting, fishing, and on the boat, Cummins says she was vigilant about skin protection. They were not outside without hats, bonnets as babies, um, sunscreen always gets put on, like to the point that my boys fuss at me. Doctors agree that skin cancer at such a young age is still uncommon, but the rates are increasing at a surprising rate. <laughs> Dr. Bernard Cohen is the director of pediatric dermatology at the Johns Hopkins Children's Center in Baltimore. He says 10 years ago, he never saw skin cancer in a child, but now he sees a few cases a year. Commensurate with the adult epidemic and skin cancer, children are not that far behind. Clearly, people are outside in the sun and getting a lot more sun exposure, and kids are getting tons of sun exposure, particularly early in life. Dr. Cohen says it's not just melanoma that's on the rise. He's seeing more incidents of less serious basal and squamous cell cancers among children as well. Doctors can't point to any definitive reasons for the increase, but Cohen believes genetics and more exposure to ultraviolet light are definitely factors. I think some of the problem in, in children under the age of 12 is that we don't really understand what it means for them Lifelong. For example, the chance of recurrence after a melanoma can be as high as 50 percent. But Dr. Cohen worries that in a child who has years and years left to live, that chance could be much higher. That's why Melissa Cummins says she's constantly checking all of her children's skin. So many people don't think that kids are going to get skin cancer. It doesn't discriminate and it doesn't matter how old you are. My only thing is to be aware of what is on your own body. Doreen Gensler, News 4.